Hey, this is Philip. You know, I've talked about a lot of supernatural crazy things in my videos, and uh, I've talked about, you know, how I've experienced a lot of crazy things throughout my life. I'm going to tell you a little story about a personal experience that happened to me back when I was quite a bit younger. Maybe, I don't know, 12 to 16 years old. I, I don't even know. It was so long ago, I can't remember. I'm too old to remember a lot of things. But, but uh, as a kid, you know, as I was younger, and still do, uh, I love to get out, run around in the woods. Of course, you know, I'm a country boy. Grew up out in the woods. Uh, as a kid, as soon as we got out of bed in the morning, we'd eat just a bowl of cereal. And, you know, I'd take off into the woods, you know, I wouldn't come back till dark, you know, usually mom would be yelling out the back door, you know, for me to come in, you know, because I'd be out in the woods, I'd just slip out there, I guess, if she hadn't made me come in, but uh, loved, you know, running around in the woods, playing in the creek, climbing around in the bluffs, you know, and up to trees and stuff, and uh, to be honest, it's a wonder I'm not dead, I, I probably should be dead, you know, as a kid, I, I wasn't a bad kid, but I was always just, I was into everything, you know, and uh, I've had a lot of experiences throughout my life where I probably should have got killed if God hadn't been watching over me. You know, if I hadn't had a guardian angel that pulled me out of a few messes a few times, you know, I probably would be dead by now. But And this is one of those messes that I'm going to tell you about. But uh, uh, I was out. You can creek right behind my house here. You can walk over the hill, hit the creek, and go about a mile, and you're at the lake. And I'd walk down to the lake. I was on my way back. It was summertime. Uh, I was walking right along the creek, sometimes in the creek, on my way back home. I was about halfway back. And uh, I'm walking along, and I just happen to look up. And I look up just in time to see a snake coiled up, and it jumps at me. Well, instinctively, I just kind of sidestep, and I kind of, take my left leg and I just throw it up as high as I can trying to avoid this snake. This snake is in, in the air coming at me. It had lunged at me. Mouth wide open. It was ready for business. So I kind of skyscraped up, throw my leg up high as I can, you know, trying to avoid this snake. It's coming at me. Looked like it was going to miss me. It was going to go up under my leg, you know, go under my leg. I throwed it up and it, it was going to go under it. It was going to be close, but looked like it was going to miss me. As I'm, of course, I've got my eyes glued on this snake the whole time I'm jumping. I'm watching this snake coming coming at me. Right when this snake gets about, just right about to my leg, it disappears. Disappears into thin air. I'm watching this. My eyes get big. I feel going through my motion. I jump to the side. I'm looking. I'm like, where did this happen? You know, where did that snake go? I just saw that snake disappear right in front of me. You know, and I'm standing there, and I'm just freaked out, you know, and I'm looking around, you know, and instead of, you know, having a little common sense and getting out of there, what did I do? No, I started looking for that snake. I'm like, where did that snake go? That, that, that snake can't just disappear right in front of me. I looked around for five or ten minutes for that snake and never could find that snake, you know. And, of course, you know, I've always been a nerd. I've, you know, I've, I've always been a skeptical person, you know. I, I, I know God, heaven and hell, demons, angels, all that is real. I've always known it, but I've still, at the same time, been a skeptical person, you know, just because I hear a noise, I don't, oh, it's a demon, oh, you know, or whatever, you know, I know people like that, you know, every noise they hear in the house, they think it's a demon, oh, what was me, or something, you know, I hear a noise, I say, oh, it's a house settling, or something, you know, I've always been a logical, you know, skeptical person, you know, even though I'm a believer, you know, but, you know, when I saw that snake disappear right in front of me, it just, like, messed with my mind a little bit, like, no, no, you know, of course, I was young, too, you know, I hadn't experienced all the things that I have now, you know, now I know better, then I didn't, but, you know, yeah, when I seen that snake disappeared, it just messed with my mind, and I'm like, no, I gotta look for that snake, you know, and I'm looking all over the place for that snake, and I couldn't find it, you know, and, uh, so I just, you know, come on home, nothing else happened, you know, and like I say, at the time, I was young, uh, it kind of messed with my mind a little bit, but after I thought about it a little bit, and kind of, calm down, you know, I said, man, that must have been my guardian angel, you know, he must have been watching after me, he must have, you know, I believe with all my heart, when that snake lunged at me, my guardian angel, it teleported it out there to protect me, you know, to take, to save me, it teleported that snake to God only knows where, you know, to get it out away from me, you know, and 
of course, you know, like I say, uh, me, I'm looking for it, you know, but uh, I believe that's what happened. I believe my guardian angel teleported that snake, you know, out of there to save me. You know, the Bible talks about, you know, I think Philip, you know, after he baptized the eunuch or whatever it was in the water, you know, he was teleported away somewhere else. You know, it happens, you know, I think maybe Elijah or something, you know, it's happened several times. God had teleported people, you know, to different places, you know, because he had a mission for him, you know, and I, you know, I believe it can happen, you know, and I believe that's what happened to me. I believe an angel, my guardian angel teleported that snake out of there, got it away from me, you know, to protect me. And uh, like I say, that was just one supernatural thing that had happened to me, and, and there have been many times things like that have happened to me, you know, or it just left me kind of perplexed, like, you know, what just happened, you know? <laughs> so, so, you know, I've still got that human mind, you know, that wants to rationalize everything, you know. Sometimes it takes me a second to kind of catch on what just happened, you know, when something supernatural happens to me. Not so much now, but, you know, when I was younger, you know, I, I kept, I'm like, okay, what just happened? i got to figure this out, you know. But, uh, God does do that, you know. He does look after those that uh, love Him and believe in Him. You know, He He looked after His children, and uh, I believe that's what happened then and has happened, you know, other times throughout my life. But like I say, any other, I would probably be dead if it wasn't for God watching my back right now, you know. But uh, that was just a, you know, a supernatural personal experience that happened to me that I want to share with you. You know, y'all talking might enjoy it, maybe get something out of it, maybe not. But uh, that was one thing that happened to me. Just wanted to share it. Thanks for watching.